three energy systems in the body. The human body has two main energy systems it gets its power from, the aerobic and the anaerobic system. All human cells use ATP to generate power. ATP captures chemical energy obtained from the breakdown of food molecules and releases it to fuel other cellular processes. Phosphate, carbohydrate and fat are transformed into ATP which happens at different speeds. The anaerobic lactic system. No oxygen and no lactate. Sounds like this energy source is not very sustainable? The body has ATP reserves for about 7 seconds. Your body does not need to transform carbs or fats into ATP which takes time, but can directly access your ATP and phosphate storage. Purposed for fast and powerful movements, the anaerobic lactic energy system is the essential power source for sprinters and weightlifters. The anaerobic lactic system. No oxygen, but lactate instead. Purposed for intense activity, the energy source of this system, also called the anaerobic glycolytic system, is glycogen and lactate. Because of the lack of oxygen, metabolizing fat isn't really possible. But the body burns carbohydrates even without oxygen. This creates large quantities of lactate which make it impossible to perform for more than 1 to 2 minutes at this level. The aerobic energy system. The aerobic system utilizes carbohydrates, fats and sometimes proteins to generate energy. Aerobic exercise can be sustained for longer periods of time. At this level, our carbohydrate store lasts for about 90 minutes. After that point, the only energy source is fat. For endurance athletes it is very important to improve performance in the aerobic zone. One system. While we can conceptually separate the three systems, it's important to understand that our body cells use all energy sources at all times.